12 teams, we're currently 12th, I think, at the moment, so <laughs> we're not doing so well. But um, get pick up a few wins at home, hopefully, including this one today, um, and probably get ourselves up to mid-table by the end of the season. One, two, three, kids up! This is a cup match, so it's good to find a match. We haven't really played as well as what we should do. So they're a league below us, so really we should be putting in a significant number of points on this team and, and really pushing forward. Each game is a positive. We're taking positives out of that game so that we can push and get our first win and hopefully work our way up the table and hopefully stay there soon and we're not relegated. The problem we have at the moment is just communication breakdown. Um, we're not communicating with each other, we're not playing as well as what we should do. We're not doing that, what we're doing in training. Um, we're not keeping to that system once we get tired, so fitness levels. Um, it all comes down to training, basically. It just makes sense to, if I've learned so much about the game and, and sport and performance and it'd be good to pass it on and that's why I wanted to do the coaching thing, this thing that I'm doing at the moment. I'm, I enjoy watching people develop, people grow up, people enjoy the game as well. So this is senior training at Kingsford Rugby Club. We've got the juniors mix in as well. All right guys, um, literally I'm just going to do a few drills with you, keep more fun, more handling stuff. Quick hands between the red and the yellow. Keeps everything fresh. You know, our coaches are extremely qualified and know what they're doing. Um, but getting someone in of Tom's calibre can just really, you know, just pick things up, get the excitement, get the buzz going again. No spur in the past, no drift. Keep it going. So the feedback's been really good. It's been um, real positive. Obviously, I've enjoyed the stuff that um, I've been doing when I've gone down there. They just, I think they just appreciate just a bit of an insight into what it's like to be a, I suppose, a professional sports or a professional rugby player. A little bit of a, an understanding of, of what it takes, you know, the sacrifices and, and the equipment you have to make to the game and, and yourselves. So, guys, the best ones over there were the ones that communicated. The person who had the ball knew where the sport was because they were calling it. Lots and lots of chat, lots of ball play, and that's all you want from this next bit, okay? This will boost our confidence no end. Um, we are struggling at the moment. Overall, we've still got um, a good squad of players, but um, we could just do with more numbers, as well, basically. For this particular team, a lot of knees uh, and shoulders tend to be the main injuries. So before the match, I come a few hours before and I do strapping and taping for them. It's just it's the nature of the game more than anything that they're getting hit in those particular areas. And when the ground's like this as well, it's quite easy for lower limbs to, to become injured as well. For me personally, I've, I've had a few. Uh, I've had about six operations. There, you know, biceps, ankles, legs. Uh, did my toe this season as well, so I was out for about three months. So it is. It is in a season you are going to get injured at some point, um, it's how you manage it and how well the club can manage you as well. It's a very tough sport um, and quite a lot of them, they don't, because with work and stuff like that, they don't always get to training each week, so they don't really have that much chance to let the body rest, uh, which means that niggles that do get picked up at the start of the season, it's trying to nip them in the bud as quickly as possible so they don't prolong throughout the whole season for the players. There's no point playing when you're not, in, when you're not fit because you're just going to let yourself down, your teammates down. So. It's about just maintaining that concentration and, and taking every week as it comes. You build up in frustration. You can see a lot of fights out there happen. You shouldn't be doing it. Today we lost. Difficult match, really. We got stuck in a lot of uh, a lot of niggly play where we shouldn't have. We should have just shrugged it off, but we got caught up in it, and it's what they wanted, and uh, they won because of it, really. Our biggest focus today was a cup game. It's not our biggest focus. Our biggest focus is the league. Um, we've got to stay up. It's so important to the club moving forward. Um, you know, Couple of Gloucester three is not competitive enough for us. It doesn't attract players. It doesn't attract young, good players to the club. So um, it's important for us to, you know, stay in Gloucester two. Key, really, to what we need to uh, achieve as a club. Kings of Rugby is 
it's a great place to play rugby because of the environment, because of the people down here and because of the community spirit. All those things together just make it a brilliant place to come down and spend your free time. It's always a good fun, you make good friends and they're your family at the end of the day and you support them on the pitch and you support them outside of that as well. My only message to everyone, whether you're nine years old or 39 years old, is you know, go and have fun. For me, the joy I get from the game hasn't changed from when I first started when I was eight to, to, to now. So just say, go out and do the best you can. Like, just go and have some fun. And that's all that matters. It is, that's all that matters, just getting that excitement and that enjoyment from the game. So I started getting symptoms of um, arthritis when I was about 14, 15. It was such a relief when I got, finally got diagnosed in my early 20s. I think learning more about my body, being more in touch with my body and, and what it does, when it's at its really bad point, I can then know how to be able to cope with it and, and, and kind of carry on with normal life.